So, Sports Card Radio made a very interesting post about Jeff Wilson. Uh, the negativity is certainly getting to these investor like uh, people. Uh, Sports Card Radio obviously owns the channel Sports Card Investor. And just like Alpha Investments, he's taking heat because a lot of the cards that were promised to be very valuable have lost a lot of value. So he writes, how do you celebrate on nights like this? A steak dinner, a fine champagne. I know you search high and low for examples of people losing money to revel in while ignoring the resiliency of the market in other areas, perhaps a fine Bordeaux to toast the losses of the unfortunate souls. Now, the problem is really easy. Um, you know, when you own a app that is a, you know, that is basically called Market Movers, and everyone that you know is suggesting that this is an investment opportunity, you should get into sports cards, uh, the one thing I give Jeff that I don't give Rudy from Alpha Investment is he actually does believe in it. Um, I don't think Alpha Investment believes that c current magic sets are actually investable. I think uh, he wants you to believe it so you buy from him. And I, I do think Jeff actually believes it based on the cards he has purchased. So here we have a, a you know, the, the price has been cut in half. Um used to be $480,000, now it is $231,000. And Jeff is responding to why the, the person is posting about this, even though this is facts, this is information, this is data, this is not manipulation, this is just what the auctions are going for. You can't, I mean, I guess if you could manipulate it, you would shield build it and you would manipulate it, the price high, higher, right? So cards are down, um, cards are down, and a lot of people are being coming very upset. And I kind of understand, or repacks are evil, let's fix this. Um, yes, repacks, uh, that Jeff himself, he said that he is going to offer repacks in his new store, but he's going to try to be uh, trans, he's going to, what's going to be transparent in, that's a word you don't hear very often in the uh, investment, sport, the card investment community, right? He's going to try to be, transparent uh, remember when you accumulated half a million dollars worth of sealed select cases boxes and then put out a video saying that sealed select was a safe investment play uh, his response is I never pumped and dumped in my life that claim is libel and that clip was pulled from a video where I specifically talked about my favorite cards in my PC not investments pump and dump a eh? So you're suggesting I sold those select boxes after putting that video out. Let's hear your false claim here so I can sue the hell out, how out of you. So Jeff is very, um, you know, he, he loves to try to threaten to sue people. Um, I do think uh, that there is some concern, right, when you have uh, these individuals in the community that maybe they're doing more damage than good. I strongly suggest you falsely you stop falsely claiming I charge for investment advice. I take liable and disparaging malicious attacks on my character very seriously and will send an army of attorneys after you if this continues. So he actually sent a cease and desist to Sports Card Radio uh, about a year ago, almost a year ago. It was a big topic. I covered it on both of my channels and lots of really good views on it. Uh, he doesn't really understand copyright violation. Um, I, I don't think he understands what that means. Um, images of me or my content. So he's a public figure, right? So the copyright violation, you know, I'm, I'm an actually copyright. Je Jeff knows this. I'm a copyright, I'm a um, trademark, IP attorney, trademark, copyright patents, right? Um, it's called fair use. And if you're critical and often, you know, parodies and crit criticism, um, is you actually just talking about this. So I talked about his Ridders. Um, he had an okay game today. He won this week, but it was a really ugly game. Uh, there was, you know, it was a very ugly game, and definitely I don't think anyone can say that. He had he specifically had a good game. They might even win their division and do well, um, you know, do well enough to win their division, but they're just going to get blown out by whoever they meet in the wild cards, right? So... Um, when you uh, post a video like this, I lost $30,000 on a sports car disaster. Like, you know, hey, 
I can make a video about it. And like, it's like, oh, where did the content? Did I make it up? No, you, you, you told me that you lost $30,000, right? I mean, like, you know, like you yourself have attributed a $30,000 loss to this disaster, which is basically these two cards. Like, you know, I, I don't know how you attributed it or what, where, what the current prices on the cards are. I don't need to know it because you have said that yourself. And that's kind of um, more or less the crazy part about these people who are always trying to sue you or claiming that they're going to sue you. Oh, I'm going to sue you. But like over what? Like what you said, you gave yourself an arbitrary value of loss, right? That you, So you, you don't, in my opinion, you don't really make money or lose money until you sell. And then you see what the margins are. Or you see what you bought at or what you sold at. So if you don't know what you sold at, you you don't know if you made money or lost money, right? So he doesn't actually know. Uh, and I believe he's keeping these cards. But for the video title to get clicks, he said he lost $30,000. So who am I to say he doesn't? I mean, he's the one who owns a card and he's the one who buys a card. I do think a lot of the negative, uh, a lot of the uh, positivity is going down the drain right now. Not just in uh, sports cards, but magic cards and everything else. Meta Zoo is taking a bath right now. Uh, also, a product I think I think maybe he did uh, Gary V Friends. Yeah, I think he did Gary V Friends as a uh, cool product, right? Uh, nice product. Um, people are waking up, and they're I mean they're waking up to a lot massive losses, like hundreds of thousands of dollars have been lost on just singles, just like on a single card. So imagine uh, what people, I had this guy and he has mosaic, he opened $10,000 of mosaic and he wants thousands of dollars, right? He wants thousands of thousands of dollars. Um, man, it's ugly, man. It's, it's real ugly out there and I don't think it's going to get any better. And the reason I don't think it's going to get better is uh, just to be quite honest with you and very frank the industry has really just exploded in the past uh two three years but there are periods of 20 40 60 it might take another 10 20 years for this to get back to where you, the height right it's like you're a gambler at a casino and you won a good bonus and then you're just losing money the whole time you could go down to zero so I think Jeff is an interesting character. I do believe, so I do give him credit for this. He does actually believe in uh, the things he's talking about, which I'm very concerned of alpha investment is, I mean, I don't know how anyone can think that Outmeta Zoo is uh, doing well, right? So anyway, uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Are you guys still positive about the, the are you still positive about the community are you still positive about how much money you can make i don't know are you guys big investors and you've lost a lot of money let me know in the comments below bye guys